Africa, welcome to my channel, Rice Connect UG. You are most welcome. Thank you for following me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Thank you so much, my returning subscribers. Thank you. You are doing a lot. Yes, I appreciate you. May God bless you. Uh, today, uh, I'm coming alive from here, Kampala, Uganda. I'm going to show you something different. I know you will like it. You will enjoy it and you will learn from it. Please keep following me. Let me show you the place. Yes, now we are throbbing down. We are going to exactly the source of what I'm going to show you. Yes, I'm going to show you the quarrel uh, stones, uh, the place where the gate stones. It's so amazing. So I'm going to show you that place. Now we are sloping down. Yeah, I want to go in the middle of everything. So please keep watching. Yeah, we have reached. Yes, we have reached. Now you can see the stones. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the place looks so beautiful, so amazing, a lot of stones. I know you are going to enjoy as I'm going to enjoy, yes. You can imagine this, I don't know how, how I can call it, yeah, I don't know how they call it today. Uh, I can't say cut it, <laughs> okay, we are going to see how they do it. How they do it so that they can get it into they get the small ones yeah it's from the big ones like this they smashed them I don't know if that is the right word yeah well you can see looks so beautiful yeah as I told you that's how they do it uh, that's how they do it we have uh, a wonderful lady here but she doesn't want to be seen in the camera but at least we are seeing the action yeah it's a, a very hard work it's a very hard work that's how they do it and until they get like a lorry of it, then they sell it and get some money. So as I told you, it's a big stone, but they crush it into small ones. And that's how they do it. That is the uh, something they use. So you can imagine how hard it is. But they're doing that to survive. So we should appreciate this our ladies we should appreciate the men what they go through to make sure that they put food on the table so for me i appreciate everyone who works so hard you can imagine working early in the morning you can see the strength and the power she's using you know to crush the stones because she needs to take care of herself and her family so that's why we appreciate those people who work so hard yeah we appreciate them so much yeah i'm still showing you uh here yeah. yes you can see how big it is as i told you the place looks so beautiful yeah you can come and see the place you can come and enjoy you can come and have a good venue yeah, you can come and enjoy. Yeah, you can come and spend the time here, uh, talking to people working here, seeing what they do, um, the challenges they face. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, a lot of activities. So you can imagine, if you see this, you may think that they use the machine to crush the stones. No. It is not machines. They used their hands. You can imagine. They used their hands. 
they are working so hard so that they can uh, get something instead of them going to steal uh, ladies going for prostitution and doing other works that are not in uh, that are not good they choose to come to this place and work for themselves and work for their children so it's so amazing it's so amazing uh, for me I like it I like people who, who are hard working who use their strength so yeah now you can I think you can hear the sound um, after they have crushed the stones now they have a machine that crushed them into um, into sand something uh, into small particulars they crush them into into two small into small stones so that is the work of the machine i can hear the sound the machine is doing its work but you see the place uh, this is a place where the workers wash the water they have here water yeah so after they have done working they come here and wash and go home when they are looking for smart so you see the stones very big very beautiful wow Yes, yes, yes. I'm still showing you. Let me reach here at the water. Ooh. Yeah, this is the water. You can imagine, and I ask myself, where is that water comes from? You know, from nowhere. No, but there is, uh, it's like a kind of a swamp. I can't say it's nowhere. But look at it. Look at it, it looks beautiful. So after they have done their work, they come here and wash themselves. They come here and I think even they can bathe. Yeah, the water looks clean. Yeah, the water looks clean. So it's a good thing that they have here water. Yeah. After they have done working, they come and clean themselves and they go home when they are completely, completely, completely clean. Okay, let us uh, listen to some music and then I will come back and tell you and explain everything. Enjoy the music on the background as you are watching everything.
the most dangerous place i can tell you uh, as you have seen you so uh, you are seeing the women and the men working in this place uh, without having protecting gear or having anything you know uh, the <sighs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's very dangerous for the people working uh, from here. As you can see, uh, the place is, uh, is too, uh, is too big. Uh, it is very high where they get the stones. As you are seeing now, you can imagine this man. He doesn't have gum boots. He doesn't have shades. He doesn't have gloves on his hands. So you can see where he is. Something can happen. Something can happen. It's a very dangerous place. Oh my God, it's very dangerous. Um, but people are working. People are working. So... They are working in in uh in a bad situation. They don't have a choice now. You can see him. You see what he's doing. Yeah, because at the end of the day, he has to earn something to eat. But at least I don't know. At least if government can provide like some gumballs, uh, gloves, or shades. Yeah, but they have nothing. You have to come the way you are and care for yourself. So it's not a good place, but it's a place where they can earn something. Yeah. So let us keep listening to music as we are watching. <music>
I have seen everything. I hope you have enjoyed like I have enjoyed. Yeah, as I told you, a lot of activities is taking place uh, in this place. Uh, there is sand, there is um, stones, there is a lot soil, a lot of things, a lot of activities, a lot of work. So thank you. Thank you so much for following me. Uh, if you in need of stones or in need of a soil, you know where to get them, please. You can come and visit this place. It has a, a nice view. It has. A, uh, you can come and interact with the workers and see what they are doing and, see, and know their challenges. And if you think you are bad off, there are people who are in bad off. Who are in bad situation but all in all they are surviving because they are working so thank you so much thank you i appreciate you i hope you have enjoyed thank you see you in my next video please my returning subscribers keep doing that i appreciate you bye yeah i want to comment uh, on the uh, on the quarrel on this video uh, on the quarrel, the quarrel of stones, you know, the place of uh, where people are working and everything, you know, it's so amazed women and men are working so tiresomely to earn a living, you know, in such area. I was so worried, I was so terrified, but seeing people. Uh, not caring, not because they don't care about their lives, but because they have nothing to do. At the end of the day, they have to provide something. They have to put something on the table because they have a family to provide. They have school fees for the children. Uh, I I interviewed some um, some people, but. Uh, for what they are going through because you can ask someone like a woman why are you here in all the places why did you choose to come to this place and she told me she, they uh, they told me that you know what we tried somewhere else to get a job to have something to do but we couldn't get a job so the only place that we could get um something to do was here in that quarrel of stones you know you saw how they are doing it uh those who you know they have nothing they don't have protective gears to to themselves they don't have glasses if you want you are the one to buy it for themselves they use the single handed their hands they are not even they don't even have gloves uh they don't have even boots gumboots on their on their on their foot so you can imagine in that situation so people working in that situation you saw in the video you see uh, like people climbing like climbing to the in the middle of the stones they start cutting stones from there and so it's like someone wakes up in the morning and say bye i'm going to work and knowing that that person is going to work in that place it's the grace of god that protects them because i don't know i, I wish the government of uganda could uh provide uh like protective gears for them uh can provide something for them to protect themselves because I was, I was up to now, I'm still terrified, I'm still, uh, so for me seeing the situation and I was wondering and I was having a discussion with someone and I was telling him that, you know, at the end of the day, a person is working like this and he gets out of this place and then for you who is a thief you try to steal his or her money and i was like god will punish you forever because you can see the situation but they're working in that situation and for you who doesn't want to work you want to come find them in the way and you want to steal them so doing that god will punish you that will be a curse and someone working in that that position in that area 
you know reaching home and then someone not appreciating you even that will be a problem i'm telling you so i'm here to advise you my people let us appreciate no matter what the small is appreciate someone who has given you something because you don't know where they have got that thing from seeing that video makes me feel like catching me that video makes me feel like i should appreciate people because people go through a lot people gain something from their sweat the real sweat so for you who doesn't want to work and you want to steal them for you who doesn't appreciate you think they have to give it to you you think you have to get it but missing what they go through actually i appreciated them i admire their energy their power you know working in the sunshine working in the rain they don't just go away whether it is raining or it is shining they keep working so hard so oh my god so let us appreciate I, i'm saying this not because of those who works uh, in terrible areas but people they are working in a different areas they are working in a terrible areas those who works in markets those who works in uh, those who sweeps the road you know who sweeps the road those who clean the, the, the trenches those who do who works in the hotels in the restaurants who works you know let us appreciate people they are doing a lot and at the end of the day they are doing the right thing because they have to put food on the table they have to provide for their children they have to do something so appreciate them if you find them doing something good just appreciate them and thank them so thank you thank you thank you thank you for watching this video Thank you for following me. Thank you for commenting. Thank you. My return subscribers, please keep returning. Keep subscribing. Thank you so much. May God continue blessing you. See you on my next video.